Welcome into 12 News at 10. I'm Rachel Hackbar. And I'm Michael Schweike. Storm Team 12 issuing another weather alert for tomorrow morning. Once again, for extremely cold temperatures. This is what we wake up to in the morning. I don't like it. Wind chills will be around 10 to 15 below zero. Storm Team 12 Chief Meteorologist Ross Jansen joins us with what else you can expect. And unless something comes out of left field, this should be our last weather alert day for a while. I think most of you are probably getting a little tired of the cold, the wind. We'll get through this, but look at these numbers tonight. These are the current wind chills as we come on at 10 o'clock. We are 10 below in Goodland, 2 below in Hill City. Look at Hayes, 10 below Wichita dropping quickly. The air temperatures are already single digits from Hayes back across northwest Kansas. Wichita after hitting 40 today is down to 17 degrees with 13 in Dodge. And of course, it's only getting colder through the rest of this night. The wind chill tomorrow in Salina, 15 degrees below zero. The high only 16. And look at the wind chill tomorrow for Colby, 17 below. That's at the start of the day. The high only 19. We are right back into the deep freeze for yet another afternoon. We're going to start out with a temperature of six in Wichita and likely only warm up to around 20 by the end of the day. A lot of cold weather coming to Kansas. We also have a few snow flurries on radar tonight. This stuff is moving quick. Probably not going to see any real significant impact from what we're seeing on radar this evening. When we come back in a few minutes, we'll let you know just how strong the winds have been throughout the afternoon and early evening, and we look ahead to some warmer weather next week. We'll see you in about 15 minutes. Got a semi jackknife across both lanes. It's also going to be a horse trailer that's jackknifed. We got traffic almost coming to a complete stop. We're going to have snow blowing across the road. Only got a quarter mile visibility at best. Take a look at some of those images. New tonight, I 70 back open after being closed for a lot of the day due to poor visibility. Images and video like this showing just showing just how bad things did get today. High winds caused a lot of that snow, some of it from the previous storms to blow across the road and limit uh, driver's vision there on the roads. Fortunately tonight, things have calmed down for now. We want you to check out this video captured by one of our storm chasers tonight around 730. This is on Headville Road just west of Salina, and you can see some of those blowing snow conditions there. Agencies across the state are warning drivers to stay off of the roads tonight due to conditions like this. With the extreme cold returning tomorrow morning, our meteorologists will post videos of the latest forecasts on the 12 News app and our Storm Team 12 weather app. If you don't have the Storm Team 12 app yet, all you have to do is get out your phone and point your camera at this QR code. It'll then take you to a link to download the app.